Elvis Costello. That was a local Atlanta artist that uh, died at Claremont Hotel back in 2006. And that's one of his best songs, is Going Home. His title looks Going Home. I guess maybe I should go home. I, I've spent three years trying to get Vermont and Burlington to live up to anything that it projects, and it doesn't. You just hate anything that's not like you. Well, that's what I kind of thought about, you know, where I came from. They, they hate everything that's not like them. But you know what? They didn't hate me nearly as much as y'all hate me. So I think that's what I'm going to want doing. I think, I think once this month's over with, um, I'm just going to head back home. Take my chances. But I'm, I'm going to look into exactly where I want to go or exactly how I'm going to do things and get me get me something squared away before I go. Maybe the Howard Center could help me. Maybe they can help me get in touch with family. I, I, I'm just... I've never seen somewhere that people were so unbelievably apathetic to someone who has a developmental disability and needs help. The only thing you'll, that you'll even consider to help with is, is only unless y'all get to overly use your resources and waste money because nobody ever wants to act on, on anything. Even when it's the time where people should act. And you won't act. The only time people act here is when they're trying to convince people they care. They'll act like they care. But when it comes to actions, there's none. The referral treadmill. That's, that's kind of the problem with, you know with states that have so many services and yet they have nothing, nothing that helps someone like me in an effective and appropriate and efficient way. I have to bill the government thousands, tens of thousands of dollars for them to do nothing but reassure me they're going to do something or they, they are doing something when they're not doing anything. I know this. I know people back home, if they would have known, it's like, wait a minute. You you took $2,000 from a vulnerable adult. That, he ain't no fucking idiot. He knows you're fucking him over. He knows that you're fucking extorting him to get housing. They would have been fucking upset. Even if they didn't know me, they would be upset. I've never seen anywhere where every time you call anyone, they want to refer to other people. They don't listen to what you're trying to explain to them. They hear what they want to hear. That's all they hear is what they want to hear. When you try to correct them, they go, no, I understand you. And I go, no, you don't. I've never seen somewhere where everyone wanted to convince themselves that they knew everything. And not once you ever convinced me, y'all know jack shit. You, you, let, you let a new place run rampant over the homeless community. And, 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 and extort them and then trap them into a learning helplessness scenario for years, and that doesn't bother y'all a bit. We can't do anything. Yeah, no, you won't do anything. You can't do anything. You won't do anything. These are fucking criminals. Oh, but it's okay. You fuck over homeless people all you want. As long as, as, long as there are people who don't matter. As long as, long as there are people who don't matter.
And that's what's clear to me about Vermont is that I don't matter. All I've done is I've gotten here is ask people, please help me fix the problems that I have. No fucking person will do anything. I guess it's time to go home. I guess I just gonna go red trailer for fucking Margaret. I have a feeling I'm just gonna have to leave. I'm just gonna start getting my stuff together and getting it ready. And figure out how to sell what I don't need. I, I'm going to take a loss on everything just to get rid of it all. And then what, I, what I'm not going to get rid of, I'm just going to have to have shipped. I, I just I just cannot believe. Y'all are ashamed of yourself. You, you don't even realize that you should be. That's the problem. You don't even realize that you should be ashamed of yourselves, Burlington. Someone who has never, I, I'm not a heroin addict, I'm not an alcoholic, I can't even do those drugs if I wanted to because I have a mass activation syndrome problem, but everywhere I go, you know what the first thing they tell me to do, well have you gone to the drunk and the drug addict place? Thank you. Even people in the South would have had enough fucking sense not to be that goddamn disrespectful to someone's face and make such a fucking black and white assumption. That's the problem with y'all. Y'all want everyone to think it just because someone ever wound up homeless is because they're drunk or they're a drug addict, they're a smack junkie, or they're a fucking meth fiend. You think maybe a lot of people want homeless because there are cruel people in this world that repeatedly take advantage of vulnerable people and leave us exposed. And then when we try to tell somebody, hey, somebody stop them, no one will stop them. That's kind of like that whole thing about, you know, if you're going to get, you know, essayed, you're probably better off for only to be a few people there to witness it than an entire group of a thousand people. Because a thousand people will just sit there and assume it's part of the show. Because that's how much of a fucking sheep everybody in this world is. <laughs> Someone go home. Yeah, I'm going to spend the rest of this week and the weekend and or next week trying to figure out. There's one thing that I get from Vermont and Burlington is that I'm not welcome here. Y'all hate autistic people. And y'all hate anyone that won't go along with your narrative. Even if I mostly agree with your narrative. Maybe there are some fine points that I don't agree with. No. Oh my God. I I feel sorry for y'all. I really do. I feel sorry for that that it must be hell. It must be hell for you inside your own head. Apparently your hell is different than mine because I'm always trying to improve mine, not make it worse. <laughs> Oh, you didn't win, Virginia. You didn't win in there, and you did not win Cathedral Square. Y'all did not win. Nobody wins. We all lost.
Say hi to your mom and them for me. I'll be around there again soon. Love y'all. Bye.